moving forward from Dune, because yeah, let we Halloween has passed and came. Yep. And of course, as an American society, we love horror and we love horror movies, especially on Halloween, because it, it it goes it goes well. You know, it's 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 like peanut butter and jelly. It goes together. <laughs> So, I recently got the chance to see Antlers, unfortunately. So, that's good. that tells you guys a bit of how I felt. And, Joe, I know you said you wanted to ask me a few things about Antlers. Yeah, so, I didn't get a let's chance just to... jump right into this one. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to see it this week. So, without giving away uh, any spoilers or whatnot, you know, what exactly is the movie about? And what did you think? Tell us a little bit more <laughs> as far as, like, you know, your thoughts. Yeah, so to me, Antlers is really about this young boy who goes through this traumatizing event pretty much, and he's trying to almost fix certain things about what happens to him. And it revolves around, if you know the story, is on a Wendigo and everything. And so, basically, and you can you can see that in the trailer, really. Like, it's not necessarily a huge spoiler, Um and you see the one of the main characters, the woman, is also trying to figure stuff out as well as far as relating to this event, what happened, and trying to uncover it. So, from the trailers, this looks very intriguing because they were using, you know, this mythology that they were going with, and that very much intrigued me. And I was like, you know what, this has potential. Within the first 30 minutes... It intrigued me, and then it completely lost me afterwards. Mainly because I it wasn't that they were trying to do a bit too much. I just think it kind of lost its flair over time, and 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 what I thought that it could have been done. Um, I think there was a lot going on with it. The fact that they were using this mythology and even some of the horror elements, it was. On the more surprising end, I did like some of the eeriness that they were doing. Again, this was pretty early on and how they stayed on certain scenes longer than it should. Um, but overall, I think as, just as a horror movie, I thought it was a decent one. It wasn't a great one. I was with a friend and she was like, <laughs> after, let's just say afterwards for her because she is a huge horror fan. She loves horror. That's one of her favorite genres. She was like, this is one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. And I was like, dang. Jesus. Wow. That's, yeah, that's rough. Because, like, here's the thing. I remember watching the trailer. I saw the trailer a bunch of times before, like, you know, whatever movie I saw over the last couple months. And it did at least look interesting. It looked scary. But, like, is the movie itself, like, actually that scary? The movie itself isn't scary. It is. It, it, it relies sort of on the jump scare as we usually see in horror and typical american horror films in general and i think that's also an unfortunate aspect of this because again they could have done more i think it definitely it, it just lacked to me at least a bit of creativity and imagination as far as what they could have done um and so it, it it did it is pretty predictable and unfortunately, in horror fashion, again, they're using a mythology I find very interesting, and then it just fell flat because it just went to its basic form of almost a horror Hollywood structure. Unfortunately, and I kind of expected more um, from this movie because it just I there was a lot going for it, especially for me. And it kind of, and it just fell flat in a lot of areas. Um, even in certain, even in some of the jump scares, it's like you're anticipating it. You know it's coming, and you're just waiting for it. And when it happens, you're just like, all right. Um, I kind of expected more from a, this type of jump scare, but okay. So it's it's a very mixed one for me. There are elements I did like. I, um, the acting, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't believe a lot of the characters except for the kid because they did focus a lot on his story um his mental health where he was and you see kind of almost uh and just how they also lit him i will say cinematography looked pretty good as well as how they're characterizing the kid in a way of 
He's not really an evil kid, but he just has a lot of darkness within him he's that he's trying demons, to overcome. Basically. Yeah, his own internal demon. And I really enjoyed that aspect. Again, it had a lot going for it. Could have been better. I was just a bit very underwhelmed so now, at the end. So now here's the thing, too. Um, Guillermo del Toro was a producer on this film, but he didn't direct this film. Does this still feel like one of his films... And do you think this film would have been better served if Guillermo del Toro directed it instead of Scott Cooper? I think if Guillermo del Toro directed it, it actually... Mm, it doesn't feel like one of his films, I don't, in my opinion. I think there are elements that are definitely... I can see why Guillermo del Toro wants to be attached to it. Um, but I, it doesn't feel like one of his films. So as, as far as directing, I think he actually could have done a better job at it. And utilize the mythology a bit more. Utilize um, even certain visual effects, if not practical effects, better as well. So I think I think Guillermo del Toro should have directed it, in my opinion. But um, again, is this an all right, completely horrible film that everything about it is just bad? No, I do think there are some certain. Unfortunately, there are smaller parts of the movie that I thought were pretty darn good. But um, as a complete package, just very poor execution. So... Yeah, well, uh, yeah that's... That's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, kind of happy, you know. Maybe I am happy that I didn't get a chance to see this one this weekend, and you did instead. So thank you so much <laughs> for answering a lot of my questions on that. <laughs> um, but again, for all you guys that are with us, you know, what did you think of the movie Antlers? If you actually got a chance to see it, leave your thoughts in the comment section wherever it is that you can. And now, before we move forward, you know, don't forget to like, follow, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to get all notifications, whether you're on Apple Podcasts, you know, Google Podcasts, Pandora, YouTube, and so much more. And follow our social media pages in the description.